Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Uh, today we're going to be start watching the Paris Open. We're watching uh, Norway's Orderman versus the world champion Alessio. I have not watched this yet, but let's get into it. Um, holding the same top. I'm going to turn down this British gentleman here. Okay, a strange struggle. Look to see who's got that upper body power. Normal, normal things. Both men, not just the database of kicks, but the ambitions. Good change target there. Too early. Head kicks just missing. That's by Alessio, right off the bat to the face. Amazing to show his quality one more time. For me, how did that? Now he sees them, moves them. Oh, it wrapped all the way around. Okay, well, I guess when you're in the clinch, um, get the hands off you. It's the only thing of note. We know that. Norway likes the front leg as usual, good for changing targets. Alessio really deadly with that front leg, especially to the face, has a left out in crescent kick in the clinch. Bait out the front leg a little bit, looks like Norway's doing. He's getting uncomfortably close, but hasn't shot yet, so I think he's waiting for Alessio to go first, and then he's maybe sitting on a back kick. Maybe if they both get it, okay. I was gonna say that's this should be at least both minimum. Okay, he's trying to force it out. I don't know why he's trying to force that out so much. He didn't capitalize off of it, or is he maybe just trying to gauge the range, range and power of it? Maybe blocking him now. Okay. Nope. Interesting footwork. Oof. Yeah, it's, just, it's coming out on that side. Need 30 more seconds to win this round. Yeah, he's, he's doing just that. And now if he's Not a bad idea there. He's bleeding all the time. He'll try to spin. He'll try to make a show. As you said, the thing that's showing most now. That was a pretty good idea by Alessio to throw the back kick. Because all that Norway's shown is that front foot, so it would have been a good counter, especially after scoring points and near the end of the first round. Would idea is he's pretty hungry for a point, so you'd want to throw a back kick against his main weapon. Not even gonna attempt. Little look at a spin kick. Walks into one of his own there. Simone Alessio finishing with a flourish. Very, very strong oh, start. Um, interesting strategy, just getting information for the first round. Let's see what else goes on here. Alderman makes the way easily. Likewise does Simone Alessio. So both men will have the stamina down the stretch. This so the if you're red, you kind of just go the same strategy. Go for that out in in the clinch, assuming your partner does your sparring partner doesn't change tactics. Nice, uh, nice. This is so, so deadly. If you guys want to practice this kick, um, I don't have it to the extent Alessio has it, but I did have a pretty decent op ball, and I liked my op ball because when I shot it, I didn't shoot it in place. I shot it going forwards because most people kick and then lean back, right? So when you shoot it, shoot it going forwards. Well, this is going on. I'll explain how I do it. You do that by setting a resistance band against your ankle, tying that behind you, and then practicing your op ball in place, right? And your body will eventually overcompensate. And so when you take the resistance band off, then when you op ball, your body's going to move forward. Um, so I, I can't do it, obviously, to the extent that he was able to do it, but if you guys want a moving forward up ball, that's the way I was able to develop mine. Okay, nothing. Oh, they denied. Interesting. Okay, so denied. Okay. Still just baiting. I'm kind of surprised they haven't given Blue a warning for not fighting at all. He's kind of just chilling here. Better performance than the first round. Not a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I like this because we already know this This is coming from the outside from Alessio, right? It's going to go out in. So in order to not run into his leg or to not compete for that space, Norway went in to out. Really good job here. I like it because he, yeah, like just like I explained, there's no, uh, he, he didn't contest for the space. He just went around. Get back on the inside. Alessio's pretty mad i'd assume so yes good 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 very nice very nice boom right we got this head point okay back so we got the head point unless you're here probably wanting to want his stuff back so this is good too after you score 
great stuff here. He's kind of frustrated, not paying attention. Good. Get him while he's mentally down. Good. I don't know about the grabbing, but that's all right. Alessio well, is trying to reset while in distance. Punch him for it. For you guys who are fighting high-ranked people, or like let's say this guy, the best guy at your school, you're the, the best dude in the state, the best person in the district, the best person in the region, whatever, don't respect that guy while he's in the ring. If his hands are – if he's not ready and it's a fight time, just kick him. I mean, you're not – don't wait for him to pick up his shield and be all ready for you before you try and kick so it's a fair fight. He's going to kick you when your hands are down. He's going to kick you when you're resetting you're not ready. That's a timing reset. If you're not ready, just kick – like that's your fault. If the ref's hands isn't between you guys and you're not ready – like rule, general rule of thumb is you just kick them. Obviously, if they're falling down or you know the guy, like maybe don't do that. If you're not at the Grand Prix, if you're sparring your training partner, maybe don't kick him on his way down or while he's resetting. Like it's you needed a guy there for more trainings, right? But for for this high level fight, if you guys are like gold medal matches against high ranked people and they're not, they're trying to just reset and sit in your distance, kick them. I mean, it's unfortunate none of that scored, but imagine if that did, that would have been two points to the body. He would have been. Up, he could have been up 7-0 if he had just made those kicks land. All because of what? Because the, the, the top guy is getting a little frustrated, or big, the bigger issues. He's just making a mistake while in bounds, in in range. Okay, let's see. A 42 seconds to make it happen. Here. Not, not a bad idea. Okay, just keep watching that. Watch that. I would. Oh, okay. So if I were Norway right now. What I would do here, this situation, get this foot back so that way when – and then try and throw in right leg out in just so he can't throw his left leg out in. So just occupy the space because, right, if he's, he's, he's striving to drive with that leg, just if you throw that leg first, your legs are going to clash. That's what I would do. You fix the, fix the shin guard? No, no, no shin guard fix. He's just going to the left leg. You can do that in out again. Nice, nice front hand punch. In out again, or okay. Watch it! It's coming! It's coming! It's coming! Dodge! Dodge! He's getting mad because of the holding. Uh, I would also be maybe upset if there's holding too. Turn. Very well played from Norway here. Obviously not going to score in the last second. Round three. I have not seen a round three in a long time. Two seconds in. So Alessio here should be looking for something other than left leg out in because he's been blocking that all day. Pick different targets. Pick different targets. Good change of timing there. By the Alessio. Okay. Finally calling the holding. That's okay. We got away with that a little bit. I'd call that about John even now. Oh, they were looking intently there at Alessio. Avoids that front leg. Can he change the angle of attack? Goes for it. Moves round. Back to the center for both men. Oh, that's what I would be doing and keep showing that leg. That's that's exactly why I said use that right leg so he can't use his left. Not even to score maybe. If you want to score, do the out in again. But I would throw that up and then maybe go with the out in. Like you can block, you can just occupy the space over there. Key stages, last minute of the last Okay. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. If anything, I mean this is the last round already. So you, oh, 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 he hit the neck. Okay, maybe they might give it to him. No way. That was so clear. That's the chin. How, I don't even know how else. What are you supposed to do? That's, um, I would for sure have given that point over. I would, I would have, I think, I think it should be 3-1 right now. You can have these, but making a real spectacle here. I feel like Alessio is going to go to the face soon again. He's looking really low at that front leg. Oh no, I'm an idiot. Never mind. In the ascendancy, the light is on okay. for the Italian. Okay. Punch. Oh, Alderman. good job cutting on the inside there. Exploring, looking for options. Okay. 
Okay. Really looking for options. He Try and use your footwork to open it up. But I think this will be comfort for him. Baby, one to one. Going, going. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, that's. This is so painful. Two up. Fifteen seconds to go. Richard Alderman changes stance. Can he change his fortune? And yeah, obviously, Alessio just needs to defend with that front leg. If he just, yeah, if, if Alessio just occupies the kicking space, it's going to be hard for him to kick. A force. Gum jump. Gum jump. Gum jump. He is victorious as he runs off into the arena here. Tremendous if I were uh, if I were Norway, I'd be pissed. Num number one is that headshot. Um, nothing against Alessio. So you know these guys being okay. It's, it's not it's not this guy's call. It's it's a, it's the rest call. The first one was the headshot. I think the headshot should have scored. Him running around on the outside, I think, should have been out. Maybe could have gotten two gum dunks for that. Who knows? That was some. That was a pretty good headshot by Norway here. A lot of picking on the front leg. Eventually learned in the third round to defend against that front. There, or sorry, that left leg out in. So I don't know. I guess it goes to show you guys that. At this level, there is some background. I'm sure there's a lot of background strategy going on. But at, at this point in the game, it seems like you just got to really hone those couple of weapons. I mean, Alessio doesn't have a large arsenal. He has the front leg deep, the front right leg deep, the front right leg to the body, and the out in crescent. And he's been winning match after match after match. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.